we are given a cross b is equal to b cross a and we can move b cross a over to the left hand side and we will get this a cross b minus b cross a this is equal to a zero vector and we know that b cross a is minus of a cross b so i can rewrite this as a cross b minus of minus a cross b and this is a zero vector so we have a a cross b plus a cross b and this gives us a two times of a cross b this is a zero vector which means that a cross b is a zero vector so if a cross b is a zero vector this tells us that vector a and vector b they must be parallel to each other we're given this equation and in this equation r here represents the position vector of the point r p here represents the position vector of the point p and q here represents the position vector of the point q and since r minus p cross q is equal to zero we can then deduce that the vector r minus p when referenced to q they are supposed to be parallel to each other and when one vector is parallel to another vector we can re rewrite it as one vector to be a scalar multiple of the other vector where lambda which i introduce here are just any real numbers which means that i can then rewrite r as p plus lambda q and since r represents the position vector of point r this equation here tells us that the set of positions of point R is going to be all the points that are going to be on a line that is going to be passing through the point P and it is going to be parallel to the vector Q. We are given R minus P dot Q is equal to zero where R here is X, Y, Z. And that is also because point R is a variable point and minus P. This is the position vector of the point P, minus 1, 2, 4. So this vector, dot vector Q, which is the position vector of the point Q, 3, minus 5, 2, this is equal to 0. So here, we have a x minus minus 1, so x plus 1, then y minus 2, and a z minus 4. So this vector dot the vector 3 minus 5, 2, this is equal to 0. Let's evaluate the dot product here. So we have this multiplied by this. This gives us a 3x plus 3. This multiplied by this. This is minus 5y plus 10. And this multiplied by this is 2z minus 8. This is equal to 0. And if I were to just re-express this and evaluating this also, we have a 3x minus 5y plus 2z. This is equal to minus 5. And this gives us the relationship between x, y, and z. And now let's discuss about this equation. What is this equation actually representing from the perspective of this variable point r? On the Achievers TV under Vectors Theory Outline, I actually discuss about the formation of the dot product equation of a plane. And when you look at a plane, and let's say for this particular plane, it is um, going to be passing through the point, let's say A. Okay, it passes through the point A, and it is going to be perpendicular to this vector n. So n is always going to be perpendicular to this plane pi. And now we have a variable point. Let's say this variable point is r. So the position vector of this variable point r is this with reference to the origin. And the position vector of this fixed point a is let's say this a with reference to the origin. So if I were to take a referencing it to r this vector this vector is vector a r although a is fixed and although r is changing but because r is a point that is defined to be lying on the plane pi 
which means that AR will always be a line that is parallel to the plane pi. And if AR is a line that is always going to be parallel to the plane pi, that means AR will also be perpendicular to N all the time, which means that AR dot N, this is equal to zero. And AR is vector R minus vector A. So this dot N is equal to zero. And we are seeing it here, a variable position vector R, a fixed point, a fixed vector A, P, and Q, which represents this, which is uh, synchronized to this normal vector N. That is why looking at this equation, we can then deduce that, okay, this equation here tells me that it is that that represents the position vector of a variable point R. Okay, let's go for the point R to be here. So it represents the position vector of a point R, this R, that is going to be lying on a plane. And it is a plane that is going to be passing through the point P. And it is going to be perpendicular to the vector Q, where Q is 3 minus 5, 2. 